Hello everyone. I hope all of you good. So today I will tell you about VFT. So today I will tell you about two main part of VFT. What is VFT and how it's operate. So it's a most important topics for those people who relates electricals and electronics also. So please watch completely to get notified or to get info about it. So viewers, today I will tell you about what is VFT and what stands for VFT, how it operates, and their internal circuits also. So please watch complete to get info about it and where it is used. So let's start the topics. Before starting the topics, if you not subscribe my channel, so please subscribe my channel first and then watch it completely. So let's move on the topics. How it operates? So it's a speed control circuits, and which are commonly used in industrial plants and many other plants, in which electric motors are used. So how it control the speeds? So how it control the speeds? VFT. So basically, speeds are directly proportional to the frequency. Speeds are directly proportional to the frequency. So speeds are NS synchronous speeds which are generating in a magnetic field in a motors. So in this circuit, we can control the level of frequency means change the frequency levels. So it also affects on a speeds. So frequency level, how frequency level will change? So frequency levels can be changed by VFD. So here is a formula of NS. NS is equal to 120 F by P. Here NS is synchronous speeds, F is frequency and P is number of poles present in the motor. So here is clarify NS is directly proportional to the frequency. If we control the level of frequency, we can easily change the speed of the motors. If we decrease the frequency, the motor speeds also get decreased because it's directly proportional to the speeds. Now the question arise how it operates and their internal circuits. So I will tell you about the main three components are used in a VFT. A VFT based on a three components, converting circuits, filtrations and inverting circuits. So what is converting circuits used in a VFT? In this sections means converting sections three phase supply will convert into DC but if we apply a three phase supply to the converting circuits it convert into DC but not a pure DC it's a pulsating DC so in this parts means converting sections we need uh, we need or use a diodes means converting sections diodes are commonly used to convert AC into DC so diodes will convert AC into DC but not a pure DC. Okay. So three phase supply means R, Y, B are connecting with the converting sections and it will convert into DC. Okay. Now this DC will passing through the filtration circuits. The next portion is filtrations present in VFD. VFD convert these means filtration circuits will convert this pulsating DC into a pure DC now the third sections but in filtration circuits there are capacitors are used to purify the pulsating DC in pulsating DC there is some impurities in AC is present in DC so that's called a pulsating DC so now filtration will convert this pulsating DC into pure DC and now move to the inverting sections inverting sections are those sections means these sections are used to invert these dc into a variable ac means variables ac supply now how it's convert in inverting sections there are three components are used scr igbt gto these three components are used to convert these dc into a variable ac now first we 
provides a three phase DC supply into inverting sections and inverting sections are uh, convert these DC into pure variable AC supply now SCR and IGPT and GTO these three components related to the electronics components which are used to control the DC to control the switching means if we provide DC, uh, DC supply to the inverting section and inverting section three component SCR, IGPT and GTO are used to convert these DC into a variable AC by using switching. So, so these components convert these DC into variable AC then we provide these variable AC supply into the motors. Now we can control the frequency in inverting sections or decrease or increase the frequency level to control the speed of the motors. So it's now clearly shows that frequency are the main parts or main, main things that we control that we control the speed of the motors. So we need to control or a focus on a frequency to control the speed of the motors. So I hope you understand these topics about VFD and get information about it and also know how it operates.